Hey guys, we're keeping the loop in Nashville with the Nashville Loop. I'm here with Matt Casey who heads up New England to Nashville. Hey everyone. We're having a riders night tonight with how many riders, about 20? Uh, it started with uh, 18, there's a, I guess there's a sickness going now, going around, so we're down to about 15. Uh, and one of, our, one of our riders, her father declared for senator of New Hampshire today, so she couldn't make it. So. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that was a good the excuse, best right? The excuse I've ever heard. Her dad became a senator. He sent a little note, said, I need her home now. I'm just kidding. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, what part of New England are you from? I'm just getting to know you. Um, I'm from, originally, I'm from Newton, which is a town that borders Boston. Yeah. Um, it's where Boston College is. Um, and I li now live in Jamaica Plain, which is technically part of Boston. It's, they call it the Emerald Necklace because it's a little, it doesn't feel like it's right downtown. It's a little okay. more green, but. That's where I live, and that's actually where one of the other guys is playing right now. Is from Jamaica Plain. Well. Do you live in Nashville at all, or do you just have a place you stay? Sometimes you people here? think I live in Nashville because I'm here. I do. <laughs> so much, well, I but thought you did. No, I I have friends I stay with, and I sometimes stay at the Hutton Hotel right down okay, the street. Okay. Um, so I'm here like usually once every. Usually it's once every two months, but um, it's been in the last few weeks. Actually, I've been here twice. I got lucky somehow to win the CMT uh, NSAI Song of the Year. That's so um, cool. So they had me down here and for Tim Pan. Tell us the name of that song. That's my co-writer right there. Hey, that's Keith. <laughs> yeah, that's Keith. Keith and the name of the it's song. It's called uh, Plain White Tea. Plain White Tea. Yeah. That's awesome. So we were like shocked because it was 3,000 submissions and somehow we won, but. It's not a perfect song, but our music still plays. And as long as these hands hold on to your heart, as long as the night still brings out the stars, you're the only one that I'll ask to dance. I wish I could. Just how I see it Every morning Your eyes open to me I may not be a man of many words But baby I know just how much you deserve You deserve the greatest love song that our world can hear
Hey guys, I'm back here with Keelan Donovan on the New England to Nashville Writers Night at Dan McGinnis Pub here on April 10th in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Keelan, I met you a few months ago through Jillian Carterelli, who yes. we heard earlier. Lovely, lovely lady. And we did a Writers Night together, yeah, and yeah. I was so blown yeah, away as oh, an understatement. Thank you, really. I love awesome. your style. Thank you. It's kind of like Jason Mraz meets country meets. Cool. I don't know, who do people compare you to? Uh, I've been compared to, I don't know, my song, right, at least the Avett Brothers, kind of uh, kind of that yeah. style mixed with, I don't know, a little poppier version. Yeah, I guess, yeah. So. yeah. I just love how you're just so uninhibited, you know yeah. who you are as an artist, cool. and you ooze that. Thank and that's you. the key to being a superstar, is you got to be uninhibited, comfortable in your own skin, and not afraid to be exactly who you are, and Keelan knows who he is as an artist, and Nashville is getting a clue. And here in the Nashville Loop, we're trying to sh showcase the best of the best of the best to keep people in the loop. So if you've never been to Nashville or you're coming soon and you want to absolutely follow his career, find out where he's playing and go see him when you come. But anyway, so until then, we have video yep. interview. Yeah. And how long have you been in Nashville, Keith? I've been here since 2011. And you went to Belmont? I went to Belmont, graduated there. And uh, yeah. And I'm doing this. It's awesome. And, and so if somebody wanted to be a singer-songwriter yeah. and they were coming here and yeah. they've never been here before, what would be your advice? Just meet as many people as you can. Meet as many, you know, everyone here has a connection with someone else, you know. I would meet as many, many people as I can and uh, go to as many different shows and uh, that you can and talk with the artists after and, uh, I don't know, anyone that you like, just get their information and stay in touch. Who were your greatest influences growing up? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. I, I really liked, uh, I don't know. I really liked Nirvana. Like, growing up, I, I, I love yeah. Nirvana. Heck yeah. Then, um, I don't know. Now, now it's turned to, you know, more folky kind of, uh, uh, Bob Dylan is obviously unbelievable. And, uh, more recently, uh, the Ava Brothers. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. They're, A little Adam Sandler thrown in there, maybe. <laughs> Well, I took a drive down 95 across the Massachusetts borderline from Maine to Martha's Vineyard. I'd go for a chance. Just one night and don't look back. No regrets, just going to attack that night with a heart that's full of hope. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Sometimes yeah, the I, way you I, pronounce your words. I totally hear it. I've, I've been told that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's comedic value. Yeah. It's almost like yeah. even though you're. Even though it's comedic, and yeah. even when you're sounding serious, sometimes yeah. you'll sound like Adam Sandler on SNL. Yeah, some people, sometimes I like say lines that are dead serious to me, and then I say them, I sing them, and people in the crowd start laughing. Oh, it's awesome. I don't know. It's so cool. Your style is so unique. You're one of a kind. Cool, thank you. And I love that I'm so excited to have met you a few thank months you. ago oh, through Chile. You. You're awesome. And uh, we want to follow your career closely and be there when you get your deal. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. It's just around the corner. I hope so. so you hang we'll in see. there. Right? Thank you. No doubt at all. Thank you. What's your favorite comedy? My favorite comedy? Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> it's down. It's awesome. It's down. <laughs> this is my favorite movie, period. I love so. it. I love it. <laughs> You just seem like someone who's just so laid back. Yeah. You just roll with it. Yeah, yeah. You're just a great hang. Yeah, lots of fun, yeah, lots yeah. of laughs. I, I tried it. Thank you. And that's what an audience is looking for, right? You want someone who's going to put you at ease and right. just, we want to escape the work week and just kind of listen to an entertainer that can help us kind of get away from it all. Keelan Donovan is that guy. Thank you, thank you. So be sure, hey, what's your website? KeelanDonovan.com. Sweet, easy enough. K-E-E? L-A-N. L-A-N. Donovan. <laughs> D-O-N-O-V-A-M. So. Awesome. Okay, yeah. New England to Nashville, Writer's Night at Dan McGinnis Pub. Matt Casey, thank you very much for supporting your New England peeps. So glad that I'm getting to meet all of you guys. And uh, through my precious little Jillian Carter Rally from Boston, who made her debut with New England to Nashville tonight. And now Keelan Donovan, was this your first time with Second, time. Second, Second time. Second time with yep. New England to Nashville. 
but not the last. Not so the last. No, I can't we're wait. We're keeping you in the loop on the Nashville Loop. Stay tuned. This new job's got you working round the clock. You say you're happy, but I know you're not. Another holiday on an air. 